what's special about manuals anyways? Why do people love them? Well, for me anyways, I think the best part of it is, is when you can synchronize all of the right actions at the right time as you come into a turn and out of a turn and you don't upset the balance of the car. It feels amazing. By right actions, I mean when you're hard under braking as you come into that corner and you can flip the throttle just the right amount drop down a gear, release it, and the car's attitude is exactly as it should be. And if you can always do that, that's exactly what manuals are meant for. That's what I love about them. This part of driving a manual is definitely knowing how to rev the engine. Now that's how you smooth the transitions from one gear to the next lower gears. Apart from sounding really cool, when you can do it properly, also serves some other benefits as well. For sure, when you're driving at the limit on a racetrack, or even in the winter time, it definitely keeps the car balanced, so it allows you to be a safer driver. On top of that though, it actually reduces the wear and tear on your drivetrain. That's obviously a good thing. So how does one rev match actually? Well, right now I'm actually uh, cruising along. I'm in fifth gear, 2,000 RPMs and uh, just a little bit uh, under 80 kilometers per hour. If I want to pick up the pace and I go from fifth to fourth, before I release the clutch in the new gear, I need to make sure I apply a little bit of gas to make sure that the engine RPMs are matched to the speed uh, of the wheels when I'm in fourth gear. So I'm gonna do that now. When I did that, actually, then the attitude of the car remained the same. The nose didn't drop. Uh, if I didn't apply enough gas, that would be the case. Uh, and now I can continue to accelerate from there. So that's an example of a rev match. In the last video I explained how to rev match while downshifting to pick up the pace. The tougher one, however, is the rev match combined with braking and downshifting. That one will take a little time to master. The easiest way to do this is consider only half of your foot is covering the brake pedal allowing the other half of the foot to roll onto the gas pedal as needed. It's a good idea to practice this action stationary before even driving. The rev match happens before you release the clutch in the new lower gear. 